Well, Pride Month may have been back in June, but Bemidji Pride is holding its annual Summer Family Festival this weekend. For this week's In Focus, our reporter Matthew Freeman went to the kickoff event for the Bemidji Pride 2024 Pride in Arts. Pride in the Arts is now a continued series as part of the Bemidji Pride Weekend Festival. The second annual art show is meant to empower local artists from the LGBTQ plus and two-spirit community by creating a space to connect with their friends and neighbors, sell their art, and showcase their talent. After last year's event, we were talking about giving back to the community, so I thought it'd be great to put this money into art shows for the two-spirit LGBTQ plus community, a group of people that usually don't have an outlet to have these types of shows. It's an amazing way to highlight all the artists in our community, especially those that necessarily don't always have a chance and those who are a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Our artists are here to showcase their art and a lot of them are also selling their art. We've also got our Bemidji Pride silent auction and then of course we've got Table for Seven here serving up all of the amazing farm to table appetizers, wine, beverages, all of the great things. And Bemidji Pride in the Arts does its best to include all forms of art including digital. Every time we put together an art show I try to mix up the mediums. A lot of different things this time. So this time pottery, we've got VR, we also have a wood carver that comes all the way from the cities. This is the second time she's done this show with us. I try to mix it up a little bit and bring in people I haven't had before and mediums I haven't had before. Close to 1,500 people attended last year's Bemidji Pride Festival. Even though Bemidji Pride is happy with that number, they still want to encourage more members of the community to engage with Bemidji Pride. This is our home, so we want to encourage all of the community to be there. And also, also to our tribal nations, such as White Earth, Leech Lake, and Red Lake, because those are our native brothers and sisters. So we want to make sure everybody comes, comes on over to Pride to show the support, because we need to have the visibility, the awareness. And what does that mean in the long run? This means like suicide prevention, anti-bullying, and also to equality throughout the community, which we all call our home. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's In Focus, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.